first video uh, that we'll be making for 2022. Um, so in today's video we're going to be talking about George's wheelchair. Um, on our, through our Instagram page we get so many questions about his chair so yeah, we, uh, we're going to be showing it off, showing what he can do, what he can't do and also a hidden strap that we'd like to show you. Mm -hmm, secret strap. When I was first injured I was obviously given a manual chair leaving the hospital and, uh, and then I upgraded to a lighter weight manual chair, I think it was called a quickie or something. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I kind of found that when I was out and about, I didn't would, or couldn't get around as easy as I wanted to. It was fine when I was indoors, I had enough strength in my in my arms to, to push me around on flat surfaces, but when I was out, oh yeah, I just couldn't get around as much as I wanted to. Go and watch football and stuff, found it, found it very hard. So I started looking for an electric chair, but everything I was coming across online was either like a prototype and hadn't been built yet and there was nothing really that I considered that looked cool. cool. It was all kind of, from what I could find, just made for older people or, well yeah, just nothing that was really made for youngsters. Going through Google Images, just looking at any wheelchair that I thought looked cool and was hoping it wasn't a prototype and then I came across this chair which is a Trek Inetic wheelchair and it turns out they weren't a prototype and that they were available to buy, so quickly got in touch with the uh, the manufacturers and organised a demo and haven't looked back since. And this is your second one that you've had now? Yeah, this is my second one. The first one, I think they're meant to last about five years or so. Uh, and then, yeah, my first one lasted six years and I've got another. It's still good to go, just... Yeah, the other one still works fine. Not looking like as happy as a, and healthy as yeah, this one does. Just use it as a backup now. So If you are familiar with Trekinetic, You'll notice that not every chair looks the same. My particular chair is the Trekinetic GTE, which is the electric version. There's a million and one different uh, gear stick things you can have, depending on what's easiest for yourself. I've gone with sort of like a T-bar shape. The control itself is pretty simple. It's just an on and off switch, and then there's a, another switch that determines how fast you want to go. So you can have it on five speed or on one speed. Also a, a nifty, which we only found out about recently, USB port into this, so if your phone's running low or yeah, you need to charge something, you can plug it in. Bear in mind that that will detract from your actual battery power as well. So The battery does last up to about 8 miles they say, and it lives in this black box underneath the seat. It's interchangeable so you can have more than one. What I tend to do if I'm going out for a, for a long day or something is I'll take another battery with me so then if one does run low I can just switch it over. It's got these levers on either side, we call them brakes. But they're um, not really brakes, they're not really it's brakes. just... You what? can just switch from, if you flip them up they go into manual as you can see by the sticker, which means George couldn't use his power. Um, yeah, it just turns the power off, so yeah, you can just for example yourself. if you run out of uh, battery when you're out and about, you could flick it down, flick the lever to manual and then someone could push you. And then flick it back to power and he's back in control of the chair. Uh, the push bars on the back of the chair. You, you can have them on or off depending on uh, whether you think you're ever going to need to be pushed around. I mean, I keep mine on there because I like to hook on them when I'm in the car or if I want to yeah, readjust my body, yeah, yeah, move around. I much prefer this style of armrest. They're a lot more comfortable for me and uh, they just mean that I can lean on them and yeah, they're, they're, they're comfy. You can also tilt them back so if you're in a restaurant and you're going towards a table or something, you can just pull the armrest back and get them more out of your way. The little lever at the back of the chair, um, if you flick that up towards you and then push down on the chair, that can lower it. And um, we often do this if George needs to go over a small bump or maybe a ramp that's quite high, so it just lowers him a little bit more. Um, so they can just go up a steeper hill, for example. Or if you're going up a curb and you know, little lips there, yeah. just lifts the foot plate off the floor a little bit more, so it gives you more height so you can yeah, get over get over uneven surfaces. And then you just lift it, lift the lever back up towards you and then obviously you just pull the chair back up to sit him back up, right? Also the chair can be um, dismantled and put into a car boot, for example. You can, both the wheels come off, uh, just easy release. I'm not going to start taking the chair apart okay. now, but there is easy release buttons on the chair. Uh, the foot plate folds up. If you are interested in finding out how the chair um, comes apart and how small 
it can be if you're worried about getting it in your car or anything. Just check out their website. I think they've got a demo video on there. If not, they've certainly got pictures of how, how easy it is to take the chair apart. When I first got the chair, I quickly realised that uh, with my level of injury, it wouldn't necessarily be that easy to use without wearing a strap. So initially, I, I kind of had a strap that I'd put around here and tie around the back, which it did the job, but I always felt like I, I didn't want to go out. I didn't want to yeah. feel like I was strapped, strapped to the chair and all my clothes were, yeah, just, I, was, I felt, I am strapped in anyway, but I felt like everyone can see that I'm strapped to this chair. And I kind of didn't like that. But that, that's not for everyone. Like some people might be at a level of injury where they don't need a strap to, to keep them in the chair and make them feel safe, but I did. So I kind of, yeah, came up with a, a secret strap of my own that I, I designed. I wanted something that I could wear without anyone knowing, basically. So something that I could wear under my clothes and no one knows I've got it on. So after experimenting with loads of different ideas, the idea I settled on and has seemed to work for quite a few years now, was to effectively Velcro some, initially they were seat belts underneath uh, my chair and then underneath my chair cushion, covering up the back of the chair, over my shoulders, and then uh, done up at the-, at the Fastening over your chest. Yeah, fastening over my chest. Uh, so this allows me to put a t-shirt on, then put the strap up my back, straps on, velcro it up, and then put a jumper over the top of that, and you still can't see the strap from back, from anywhere. So yeah, it's very adaptable, and no one could see it, which is the beauty of it for me. This isn't me recommending that other people use it or try it, it's just an idea I came up with, and it hasn't been stress tested or anything like that, so yeah, I'm not recommending people try this at home, it's just something that has, I've tried and has worked for me. If you do have any really specific uh, questions or requirements about um, one of these chairs, then we would advise that you um, speak to one of the Trekinetic team. They're really, really nice. Um, they're a good bunch. So um, they're the experts. Yeah, if you need any uh, advice from someone that's had life experience in using the chair, then always feel free to drop us or, or me a message and uh, we'll answer. But yeah, if you need specific advice, yeah, about how the chair. Check out Trekinetic, they're the ones to go to. Yeah. As always, if you don't hate what you see, please like and subscribe. I've got lipstick on it. Alright. Right. Uh, Starting a gear stick, is this called a stick? No. Yeah, no, no, it's not called the gear. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not even saying hi. You just sit there like a owl. An owl. <laughs> there you go. It is just. You ready? Yeah. No. <laughs> testing, testing, one, two, three. I'm gonna have a baby. You need to put that on charge. Otherwise, it's gonna run out of battery. Why do you say lever like an American? What is it? Lever. 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 Lever.